Hey there, Freedom One here in God.TV. And it is another awesome week to pray and lift each other up in the mighty name of Jesus. So I thank and praise you, Lord. I thank and praise you, Jesus. Mighty Jesus. Holy Jesus. All right, let me get my my prayers stuff all in order so we can get busy right I had a cool praise report today and it was from Susan she private messaged me and said I just received the gift of tongues and I first of all thank God and then thank you for your prayers so praise God for this special time of prayer. Um, it's exciting because what we're doing here is just, it's always been excited, exciting for me because I've always just had a heart to, to exhort the body, be all that you can be, you know? And so it's exciting to when people get baptized in the Holy Spirit. It's exciting when they begin to operate in their giftings and start to move in power. So um, we should be so very privileged uh, to take part in this. Um, it's like we're working in a big nursery and these special babes are being born all around us. And so exciting times. So, um, that was an awesome praise. And uh, Dylan wasn't with us last week, but he said, you remember his friend Sarah with the neck pain? Well, he, he had spoken with her, uh, and she is saying that her neck pain is sore off and on. And so he's, he says, looks like our prayers are working. So he's, he's feeling like that's some progress. So um, we'll just begin to pray for her right now. Um, because we'll just keep going until it's gone, right? <laughs> so we just praise and thank you, Jesus. We thank you, especially for Dylan. We ask that you would bless him. Thank you that he has a heart for his friend. And that he wants her to be made well. And so we just agree with him. And we speak to that neck. We speak to Sarah's neck. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Muscles, tendons, sinew, every particle of this neck we command you to obey in that Jesus healed them all and that by the authority we are given in the power we are given in the mightiness of his name that in his name we command you to be healed Lord Jesus we thank and praise you we just ask that you you would send forth your angels to touch her neck. That, that healing can manifest fully. Thank you, Jesus. We bind up tension. Stress in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. And we ask for your flooding, Holy Spirit, of peace. Peace to flood over Sarah. Let her heart be still. And know that you are God. Thank you, Jesus. We agree that she received that peace. That passes all understanding. Your deep peace, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ah, I love the Holy Spirit. <laughs> good times, good times, right? Oh. Oh, welcome, James. <laughs> hey, 
Hey James, I got you, I got that book you sent me. Cool. Surprise. Yay. Um I get back back over here. Okay. Dylan would also like some prayer. Um Okay. He says that he has autism. And he says he doesn't know when it started. Um, if you recall, Dylan had um, scoliosis surgery. And he's guessing that it started after that. And so I've been you know, trying to jog with him, you know, about ideas on, you know, what could be like a trigger point. <clears throat> um, and we're not sure, um, and that's something we'll just have to walk out a little bit. But, uh, you know, the autism, even if it's minor, um, he's able to veil it from friends or whatever, but it's like there's a little bit of a war in the mind. Um, you know, he has to really control himself. So, um, uh, Lord Jesus, we agree with Dylan. We agree. Lord Jesus, that he's your servant. And we offer him over. And he offers himself to you, Lord Jesus, to come inside. Even in time, if it did happen around the scoliosis surgery stuff, Lord Jesus, you have all power, all authority. And we exalt you, Lord Jesus. We honor that power, that authority. And we cut the root of whatever this autism is in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the name of Jesus, we oust you, autism. We command you go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. You have no place, no place in this vessel of honor in your servant Jesus's Jesus's servant Dylan so autism we bind you and if there be any authority we command it exposed we command it exposed in Jesus mighty name because even any access is broken Thank and praise you, Jesus. Thank and praise you, Lord. Okay. I feel like that's a start there. <laughs> but hey, Dylan, if you want to give a, a praise report, we'll take it. <laughs> Okay, um, one more prayer that Dylan would like um, is that he has also a slight stuttering problem at times. And stuttering, uh, I, from everything I know, that is definitely tied in with fear and anxiety. So I know we can go with that. So Lord Jesus, we just come before you on the issue of stuttering within Dylan. Fear. You have no place. You have no place. And I've encouraged Dylan to feed on the opposite of fear, the opposite of anxiety. So he's already uprooting that soil with the two-edged sword and the word of God. For he aligns with your truth, Lord Jesus. So we bind up fear and anxiety in the mighty name of Jesus. 
and any serpent that would try to strangle his tongue in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind you all in the mighty name of Jesus and command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. If there be any witchcraft that would try to uh, lay hold here, even generationally, we cut you in the name of Jesus. We expose you and command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. Dylan declares whom he worships and honors. You, Lord Jesus Christ. So we agree with him. That's kind of what, something I was getting. It's like I could see a thing wrapped around your tongue, like, and it's like I heard serpent's tongue or something like that. And I just felt like there's some kind of witchcraft thing. And it doesn't mean that it's you. Um, could be the sins of the forefather. Um, I can't say what video I have. I, you know, in some of the descriptions on my videos, I have prayers. Um, I'm trying to think of what that one was that had a good prayer. Oh, I'll think of it. I'll have to tell you later. I can see what the video is. I just can't think of the name. Praise God, that means I've got enough videos. <laughs> I can't remember their names. <laughs> so, yes, we agree with you. And we war against fear and anxiety. Yes. Okay. Um... I had uh, Jody um, picked up on that uh, the prayer of deliverance regarding agoraphobia and she said she would like prayer um, she said she had this before she came to Jesus um, I'm a Christian who loves the Lord uh, I have a fear of people lately it is becoming over me stronger um, What's that, what that's telling me is if I had this before I came to Jesus, uh, let's see, I have a fear of people. Okay. But it, so I guess, I guess I should have asked her, so did it kind of go away and now it's coming back full force? That's kind of what it sounds like. Um, that, that's true. It could have been a generational thing that was agreed with and to the terms of the agreement it kind of went you know, when you give yourself over to Jesus, anything that you've done and repented of can go, but if there's still some hooks, um, but, uh, you know, if it's coming back stronger now, um, could be just letting, letting it slide, the enemy's wearing her down, wearing her down, um, so... So, anyhow, we will agree with Jody against this agoraphobia thing. Oh, spirit of fear. Lord Jesus, I just, I just feel, you know, because it's hard because it's like, if, if a person has opened up a door and they, they, they let it advance, let it advance, and, you know, you got to repent and really want to get rid of it kind of thing, but um, there's work involved. Um, you know, you see lots of people get instant stuff, and some of that stuff is like it's because it was generational. And, you know, it's like it came on them. But when you've agreed with something and it really starts to bowl you over, um, you have to work through it. So, um, have to work on the opposite of the fear and the anxiety. Pour that in. Pour that in. So we just pray for Jody right now. Pour that in. 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 Pour that
We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would put blinders so that she isn't looking to the left and to the right and, and just every, every degree, but that she is focused on you and what your word says. That she is focused on faith and trust. We bind up the tongue of the enemy. Whom whispers lies. You are shut in the mighty name of Jesus. We impart truth. Truth. The truth of the word. May it be ingrained within her. To choose life when the enemy comes. To choose peace and faith and trust. And believing the best of all people. The best in all things. To trust your word. Oh, Jesus, breathe your life into her. And indeed, we do bind up fear and anxiety in the name of Jesus from her. Go beneath the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. And we just ask, Lord Jesus, that you would fill any of those voids within her with that hunger, the driving hunger to fill up on your truth, to push any access doors completely shut in Jesus' mighty name. Okay. Cutting in and out. I am so sorry. It happens, doesn't it? <laughs> um, let's see here. Um, Jody would also like uh, prayer. She would like to receive the gift of interpretation of tongues. So, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As she desires greater gifts. As she wants to move in all the fullness that you have for her. Lord Jesus, give her that faith and security that she knows your voice. Thank you, Lord. And anybody else that would like um, the gift of interpretation of tongues, whether it be corporately or just interpreting your own prayer language, um, receive this for yourself. I thank and praise you, Jesus. I thank and praise you, Lord. Oh, great comforter, come and overshadow. Those baptized in your Holy Spirit. If you are not baptized in the Holy Spirit, anyone, I just ask that you would just um, uh, open your heart and just ask the Lord. Come in, Holy Spirit. I invite you in, Holy Spirit, to come and dwell inside of me. I thank and praise you, Jesus. That Jesus began his ministry after he invited in the Holy Spirit. Granted, it was your the water baptism with John happened at the same time, but the power came. The power came. So I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, that you endue us with your power. Brother Kino, we receive we receive the power that you have because there's less of us and more of you we just invite you in Holy Spirit to come and use us as a conduit for your grace, your love, your peace, your mercy your reconciliation in this earth thank you Jesus we just ask that you would come and fill us up in your truth and power and now Lord I just ask regarding this um, the gift of interpretation that you would just bless all those who are hungry for this gifting, we just ask that your Holy Spirit would just fill, uh, fill them up, overflowing, and that uh, they would be able to tune in to that still small voice, 
Rumba Kenaba Karaba Sabera Tundraba Kenaba. Just ask Lord Jesus that uh, that those that desire this, that you would inflame uh, your truth within them. Then better to Kenaba Karaba Kenaba Rusum Karaba Kenaba 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 Grant them this gifting, O oh Lord Jesus. And give them the faith. Give them faith. Thank you, Jesus, that they ask for a right thing and that they receive it. Thank you, Lord, for your promises. Help them to exercise this gifting. Lord Jesus, and I just say to you, as you begin to start out, as you hear, you know, you might only pick up a word, you hear it in your spirit, as you're speaking in tongues, you might get a word, just one, and it, it begins like that, it begins like, um, like teaching a baby to talk, you know, once they learn mama, and mama gets all excited and smiles and gives hugs and kisses, and then they just keep doing it, right? Mama, mama, mom. They're like, oh, I'm doing something right. Well, you might get hung up on a word, and some people do. They'll say one word, one word, one word, and, and they, inside, it's like they know what that word is. And so, um, you just have to to say yes. The Lord is, is you know, it, it could be love love or he could be saying you know he loves you or or whatever he's saying but just to trust just to trust acknowledge um what he's saying through you and especially uh with getting the gift of interpretation um you know you get attacked a lot because the enemy doesn't want you to move forward in any gifting wants you to think it's you or yourself or your flesh or or whatever but, um, you know, you take those baby steps and you say, well, I was praying for so-and-so and I heard, I heard this word in my spirit. And it was, you know, fear, let's say. So then when you know what the Holy Spirit is already praying through you and then you tap into that, then you can focus more and begin to hammer that thing, you know. So, and that's what I'm doing when I pray, pray. Sometimes I get a little bit more, um, uh, you know, I talk with a person and I, and I pray or whatever and I get a few things and I write it down. And I think, well, this is how I'm going to direct my prayer session or whatever. But then as I'm praying in tongues, I start to get other things or I see a little vision in my head. Um, so then it changes. It's like the Holy Spirit and me we're working together um, to pray the perfect prayer. So, um, just, um, you know, be, be okay if it's just, if you get one word. Brumpa kinepaka. Getting a mental picture, yeah, it's like a vision, yeah. So, um, yeah, like when I was praying for Dylan, I saw that snake thing around the tongue. And then in my spirit, I heard, I heard that phrase, um, serpent's tongue or whatever it was and then on top of that you know the layers that I get um, I felt like there was some tie to witchcraft so it's it's and that you know it's like it's so weird because um, it's so many layers it's like lasagna <laughs> so um, it's really cool but you have to there are so many naysayers and stuff out there and just trying to put you in a little box. But you just spend enough time alone with Papa and exercising the gift. You know, if you already have the gift of tongues, exercising what you got. And then as you get little bits and pieces, you know, you begin to build and to grow. <clears throat> so, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I don't interpretation is so you know it's like you're tapping into the spirit of prophecy 
and it's so many layers. Here I am talking about lasagna again. <laughs> Anybody hungry? <laughs> Let's get some more God. <laughs> All right. Uh, so could it be normal to start praying about something and end up entirely elsewhere? Could be. Could be because um, we tend to think we know it all sometimes and you know we think we know how to pray for a certain person or whatever and then the, the Lord says no I'm gonna meet them where they're at this is what they really need so you know just watch the fruit though I mean if if you're asking that because you're worried about um, you know going off the beaten path or something um, it shouldn't have any worries at all. Okay, um, cool. So, get the in the gift of interpretation. Everybody, just slurp it up. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Larry, we had prayed for him last week, and he had some symptoms that um, look like they were diverticulitis. Um, and he went to the doctor and sure enough it's actually diverticulosis it's really close I don't know if they're exactly the same or you know itis is itis and otis mean something different but how different I don't know but um, you know yeah he didn't he didn't get a wham bam healing but um, it's comforting though because he's had cancer in the past and um, let me tell you, his mom was really worried, you know, um, that it was cancerous. And we're like, no, not agreeing with that. Um, so um, we will just continue to, uh, can I pray for Larry? This diverticulosis. And it's like, it's like um, in the digestive system, like the colon, they're like little pockets or something form. Um, so we just uh, speak to the the whole digestive system. We just ask for your healing balm to cover him. And you make all things new, Lord Jesus. All things new. Those affected areas, we agree with you, Lord Jesus, that there be no pockets, that the pockets go away in the mighty name of Jesus, and that the lining be just as new. And if it be diet, amen. A diet change, great, uh, but we we we're not going to agree for a bunch of medication. We trust and believe on healing on your terms, Lord Jesus. We speak life into his whole body. Health and life and energy in the mighty name of Jesus. We also speak to any anxiety, tension, bouts of anger. We speak to that right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. And we place you beneath the footstool of Jesus. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you would impart Larry with peace and joy and trust with boundless contentment help him to go with your flow O Holy Spirit thank you Jesus praise you Lord
Okay, Chris, I just read what you wrote. Pray for deliverance. Okay, I'd like to tell you, um, in addition, because we will pray for you, um, but I have this whole series called Spiritual House Cleaning. If you look up Spiritual House Cleaning uh, on my Hearing God uh, or Freedom Zone 1 YouTube channels, uh, it's a whole series that will help you learn to see if you have any access points and, and whatever, um, you know, so you can be responsible and being sure that you are really shutting doors uh, yourself, that you really want this, okay? And it'll just help you. And it's also good because um, it really gets you on self-examination. So um, when things want to come back or whatever, you can see them. You can see them. And you know how to pray. You know how to say, okay, I'm not going to be proud at this moment. Uh, I know I'm I'm acting this way because the spirit and I'm going to humble myself and instead of continue you know like some people will go on a rampage because they feel they're right and they're going to you know whatever um, they stop they stop and say oh I don't care if I'm right I don't care I know I know what's behind this it's that spirit so to be able to stop and then just go right to Jesus and that's how you um, can really fight because so many people are like, oh, just get rid of this thing. And then they don't want to do the work involved in keeping your deliverance and in keeping your garments clean. So um, this whole thing is a lifelong. I mean, if you don't think I manifest spirits on a weekly basis, seriously. Everyone struggles, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a real battle for our souls, so, um, we will, good, um, I will, we will all pray for you, Lord Jesus, thank you for Chris, Brumba bakine bakere bakere para sukine pa fore para shundere ble para tu. Um, I don't want to assume. I, I well, I'd like to say you're a guy, but you know, Chris is one of those names that can go either way. If you can let me know, just so that I can, you know, feel better about how I pray. Are you a guy, Chris, or a girl, Chris? I'm a guy. Thank you, Chris. Because I want to call you brother. <laughs> I want to. Bless my brother, Chris, who is hungry to move in your power, Lord Jesus, and who wants freedom. Thank you, Jesus, that he has indeed humbled himself and recognized that he needs you. He needs you, Lord Jesus. He cannot do without you. You, O oh Lord God, are the deliverer. So, with Chris, all of us, we all indeed do cry out, Lord Jesus, to save us. Come save us, Jesus. Come save us, Lord. Lord, those things that, that, uh, that uh, offend you, Lord Jesus, we just ask that even this week that you would begin to show us those weak places within our souls, those specific areas of where we fall, so that we will not sit here and do this cycle over and over again, but that we will stop the cycle and agree with you, Lord Jesus, that we need deliverance in that area. 
Rambach and Ebeka. So, Chris, you know what those areas are that you need deliverance of. I know the areas where I need deliverance, and everyone out there knows those areas. Those areas of weakness where we fall. And we submit those things to you, Lord Jesus, in repentance. We just ask for your hand of forgiveness, Lord Jesus. We apply your precious blood to our souls. And we just ask that you would heal the wounds of sin within us. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus that you are more than happy to forgive us and welcome us back. Thank you, Jesus, for your loving arms. I just ask that your, your presence would just fill everyone here joined in today. Fill us up. Fill us up. Give us that peace, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, just like I said, even exposed throughout the week, those things, those areas that need, we need to work on so that our wedding garments can be pure, can be wonderful. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for filling us up with your oil so we can endure while we wait with our lamps burnt brightly as we wait for you to come back for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Okay. That's awesome. I need such so much imagery um, in all that. And just feel so uplifted. There's such hope. God is so awesome. Okay, um, uh, James has um, organic brain dysfunction, and um, you know we we've been praying for this for a while, and we get a little bit of headway. Um, and uh, something I had been talking with him about was. Um, in his past, he was a fireman paramedic. And when, you know, when I really got to be thinking about that, I thought, wow, you are where broken people, both physically broken people and some mentally broken people are all the time in extreme duress. And it, to imagine to work in that, and I don't know how many years that you worked in that, but... Um, you know, I, I could imagine there could be some, some really tough times that would kind of stick in the mind. And so, um, I just want to, um, kind of work on that facet of it today. Um, healing up, um, some of those painful instances and I did get your email um, uh, you mentioned uh, emotional trauma uh, events concerning children uh, mangled bodies and accidents charred bodies people screaming for help hysterical people uh, especially parents um so, I think we, we had already come against trauma before. Um, so it's kind of like that, the same kind of line, but more targeting um, this time period. So, so anyhow, um, yeah, Lord Jesus, we just come to you with James who gave faithful service in helping others in their most desperate times, in saving physical lives. Thank you, thank you for all of his service, Lord Jesus. 
and all of that honorable work. And we identify, Lord Jesus, that that kind of stuff is hard day in, day out of ugly things at times, very ugly and traumatic things at times. So, Lord Jesus, we just thank you that you have broad shoulders. You have broad shoulders. Thank you, Lord God, that you are the same today, yesterday, and forever. And I thank you, Lord God, that you can even go back in time during this time that he did, did all the service in his work. And erase and heal over those tra traumatic things, those traumatic pictures. And indeed, uh, we prayed before about trauma, but indeed, expressly during this and the emotional trauma and everything coming from this time period, we bind that spirit of trauma. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command it command it to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. We apply the blood of Jesus over James and declare he is free. Free. Free indeed. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that your cross stands between trauma and between James and that he doesn't have any of that anymore thank you Jesus we just invite your Holy Spirit to go in and to paint all the rooms <laughs> give it all new everything because along with this Lord Jesus we just ask for even a new brain Lord Jesus especially in regards to organic brain dysfunction we don't declare that no we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you, the author of life, can impart that new brain into James. And we say, Amen. We believe for a brand new brain for James in Jesus' mighty name. Lord Jesus, even let him feel it happening. Yes, Lord Jesus. All of the synapses, everything rewired beautifully in Jesus' mighty name that the body will not fight itself anymore the rest of the body we command you quit fighting quit fighting and come into the obedience of Jesus Christ let everything that touches that brain be made new too in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you and we agree for that victory. We agree for that victory, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. <sighs> I agree for that victory, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Jean, you let me know when that testimony comes through. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, if you haven't gone to um, Mystic Truth, Mystic spelled with a K instead of a C, <laughs> mystictruth.com, I have a little, um, 
a little, uh, what do you call it? Voting thing. Why can't I think of what it is? <laughs> Vote for Gene. So far, all of the above and Awesome's winning. You have like thir 14 or 15 days left to vote. Woohoo! Okay. Um, my list is small down here. I can't read it. Okay. Gloriful, a uh, person on YouTube, asked for a, uh, for a friend. This friend needs revelation of the love of God through Jesus. And actually, um, yesterday, her friend was in court. And so she had asked for favor and mercy. You know, I prayed, but regardless, our prayers are timeless. Our prayers are timeless. So um, we agree for that favor and the mercy. And uh, a revelation of the love of God through Jesus. And I don't know her name, but Lord Jesus, I know that when we are up against the wall and when things are hardest, suddenly we realize that we need help. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that the needy, the poor, those that have been humbled, you are indeed near to. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that you're using uh, Gloria in her life to mirror that love and that mercy and that friendship. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you for her intercession. Just ask that you would bless Gloria. And Lord, we uphold her friend. For your best, Lord Jesus. That she know the full breadth of what salvation in you is about. That in her, her try times that she will cling to you, Lord Jesus. I just ask that you would just continue to surround her with members of your body of Christ to encourage her, to feed her, and to fuel her desire to cling to you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are indeed so wonderful, so wonderful to her, so gentle to her. Thank you for that gentleness that you have with her in your mercy. Amen. And I'll have to ask Gloria how her court stuff went. So I tried to do that before broadcast. I just didn't have time. So, okay. Daniel would like to pray for the spirit of self-pity to be bound. And he also needs strength for the walk, because it is hard at times. So, we agree with him that he recognizes this spirit of self-pity. That whole thing that tries to drag him into depression. That halts him and stops him. That hinders him. We bind you. We bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. You and hindering spirits. That try to render him useless. Bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. We command you to go to the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. You have no place. You have no place. Oh, do you know who he is in Jesus Christ? Well, we're going to let him tell you. We're going to let him tell you. He is going to tell you who he is in Jesus Christ. There is no need for pity because he is more than an overcomer. 
no more than a conqueror. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Just ask that you would fill your servant Daniel up with your strength, Lord Jesus. Your strength, your truth. Thank you that he sees the big picture. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you give him everything that he needs. Perfect season, perfect timing. Every ingredient in the cake of his life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You give him everything that he needs. Thank you, Lord. I just ask that you would bless him as he gets his studies done. As he gets his homework done, his work done in school. That there be focus. And no lack in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that uh, you are enough. You are enough. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. All right. Let me check emails again because I remember something here. Okay, um, Andy needs prayer for his cousin Peter. Oh boy, and you know what, the same situation that we've had to go through, um, it's regarding business. And, um, cool dude. Uh, um, and, and that's, that's happened with us this you know, we we are expecting a check to come in on Monday. We are not in debt. We have a whole bunch of invoices out, but we have no money. And so, <laughs> I was sharing with a friend, um, you know, the past few days because I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, one 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 event that that's going to happen this weekend is we have the the boys have a cousin that's going to have a birthday party and we needed to have a gift so it's like we don't we don't want to be in lack there you know we want to share and celebrate in the joy and whatever so we needed a gift not only do we need a gift but we need a bale of toilet paper in our house <laughs> yeah it's it's time you know it's like of all the times for something to go low you know, it's like, ah, oh, we need toilet paper. And so it, it was awesome because I had remembered that I was given a gift card. And when we, we went and used it last night, I had enough to get a whole, you know, like a few gifts for uh, the cousin's birthday party. And then, uh, you know, we got our bale of toilet paper. And I think it was only $3 in addition to the card. And so we had that. Well, you know, on our way home from, from the store, our gas light comes on. So we need gas in the car. It's like, oh, well, we'll be fine. Well, then we come home and we remember, oh, we got a football game to go to tomorrow. That means we're going to be using the car even more. Oh, I wasn't planning on that. You know, you try to calculate how how far do your gas fumes go, you know. And uh, so then, oh, we remember we had some other money in the house. And it's like it's the perfect amount. And that's how God is. It's so awesome. He has everything. And so, uh, yeah, for Peter, it's like been there done that over and over and over again and it's like ah <laughs> so uh and uh you were discerning about 
do not be afraid. Um, I'd like to say that means, hey, there's going to be something there. There's going to be something there coming in. At least that's what we can agree on, right? Uh, you know, uh, and it, it th the thing I shared with my friend was, you know, about the sparrow. You know, I'm like, I'm chirping in my best sparrow voice because he even cares for the little sparrows. How much more does he care for us? So I just thank you, Lord Jesus. And we'll just pray for Peter. Because I know how that is, and it stretches. And, uh, you know, some of it, the, the, that testing, it, it, it can be a big test. Money is a huge test because we know how evil it can be. Um, Lord Jesus, we just ask that you would make a way in Peter's business and with his family. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for those invoices that are there. And we ask, Lord Jesus, that for everything that's there, that you make a way. Even though it seems there is no way, that you make a way. And that that way be made so that he may magnify and glorify your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all of your testings and all the things that happen. Uh, because we know that they all happen for our good. To purify us and to try us and to uh, just draw us closer in devotion to you. So we just speak that over Peter and his business and his household of faith. That... That, uh, well, I hope it's a household of faith. You didn't say that. <laughs> oh, wait, yes, you did. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, that, uh, that this can turn around and be an awesome testimony. That it may even streamline his business. What does that mean? Okay, well, streamline is business. I don't know what that means, but I got that. Um, so we don't know what all it's doing, but praise God for His plan. His plan. Thank you, Jesus. So, yeah, no fear. Amen. All right. Anybody else have any prayer requests while we're at it? I don't have any more in my uh, list or in my email. So if anybody else can think of anything. And then if there's anybody that said something to me throughout the week and I hadn't thought of it or have forgotten, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, J. Mark. What is the name of your condition? I can't remember. Something whites. What's the name of that? No, write it out. It's whites something. He wrote WPW syndrome. Like, that's going to educate anybody. Come on, man. Wolf Parkinson white syndrome. Okay. And that's kind of a, an electrical disruption, kind of a weird thing of the heart. So, we're going to pray for your heart. Alright, we'll get to you, Jessica, in a second. Okay, we are praying for J. Mark's heart. We come against this wolf Parkinson White syndrome in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak new life into this heart. We speak a new heart. Rubikinabaka. 
Oh Lord Jesus, over things we don't know and can't understand, Lord Jesus, will we just ask for a new heart in the power of your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you give us power in your precious name and that you make all things new. So we speak life, life into his heart. We bind up worry and tension and anxiety as well. Revolving when the symptoms get to rolling. We bind those up in the name of Jesus. We cast them beneath the footstool of Jesus. Racing heart, we bind you up in the name of Jesus. We command you to go to the footstool of Jesus for judgment. Because we're believing for a new heart. Not one that's struggling and that these things are coming back. But that it's healed. And these things are just the devil trying to get you to think. That you still have an old heart. That's how I want to believe. Because it's nothing for God. It's nothing for God. Help us to understand, Lord Jesus. Help us to understand your power. That it is powerful and boundless help us not to block you Lord Jesus flood him with your peace Lord yes Jesus we just agree for that healing and complete restoration. Okay. Um, Jessica, release from resentment. Okay. Resentment, we bind you in the mighty name of Jesus and we commit command you go beneath the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment because all those things are not Jessica's concern she's looking straight ahead to you her children are on your altar Lord Jesus and she trusts you to watch them to care for them to be over them she trusts you and we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you, you make everything right, that you do, you do, in your time and in your way, but no one, we, we want not even our worst enemy to go into that dark abode with with the hater <laughs> no Lord Jesus we pray, we pray for her ex and the ex's girlfriend Lord Jesus we speak life into them and blessing and peace we ask Lord Jesus that they would that they would show kindness as Jessica goes through all these things, uh, this transition, in that um, she would heal her heart, because this does hurt, and it's not fair, but we're going to focus on the eternal kingdom, the eternal goal, in that in your kingdom, everything's made right. Everything's made right, and her kids are happy, and no one's in lack, and the emotions, there's no roller coasters, and there's peace. So, thank you for that, Lord Jesus. Feast on the opposite of resentment. Look that up. 
uh, in the uh, thesaurus and all the associated words and also when you look in the dictionary well look look in the what do I want to do oh oh yeah look up, look up the antonyms and the synonyms and look at all of the the words surrounding resentment too to see what associations there are uh, and then with those associations with the antonyms look those up so that you know what kind of um, scriptures to focus on uh, as your two-edged sword okay Mom? yes dear well um, Jacob, he got kicked by a steel toe boot okay okay well I'll, I'll see him later okay <laughs> All right. Um, yes, Jesus. Okay. So yeah, it hurts. I know. I feel it hurts right there. Mm. And it's okay to it's okay to hurt, but yeah, the resentment pushes you over the edge doesn't it so we agree with you sis we agree with you for complete uh, victory over this amen okay um okay feelings of heaviness Yeah, didn't you say your brother was playing some really nasty, hardcore music? <laughs> he had headphones on, right? But it's still being somewhat leaked into the atmosphere. So, hey, honey, can you... No, it's not time to play. Okay, go on, huh? Please? Okay, will you be quiet then? Okay, we have a visitor. <laughs> um... Yeah, so he's he's playing that stuff that's releasing in the atmosphere, and uh, so call it down, call it down, call it down. We agree with Daniel and call this stuff that the the brother is releasing in the atmosphere that's just antichrist. Um, you know whether it be words or the music he's listening to, we call it down in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your Holy Spirit in the Ark of the Covenant of Daniel that he brings you everywhere. And so, like in the Temple of Dagon, we call forth all these things that Daniel's brother releases and whatever to fall down before your mighty name Jesus so we all speak Jesus even where you're at right now Jesus we invite the Spirit of God where you're at to take over the atmosphere and to usher in the, the holy fire and presence of God we thank you for your holy presence Lord Jesus that brings conviction to the sinner Ramabakinabakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarapakarap